Hi there, everybody. Welcome to another online lecture for the Organic Chemistry 2 series. We are going to be continuing the Chem Complete series for aromatic reactions, and we are going to start with the reaction for nitration. So we're going to be subjecting benzene to a nitration addition, and we're going to take a look at how that works. So we're going to go ahead and start with benzene here. And the reagents that are used in order to perform a nitration are HNO3, so that is nitric acid, and H2SO4. So H2SO4 is sulfuric acid, and the result that we will get out of this is we are going to add an NO2 group to the ring. So keep in mind, because um, down the road this is going to be important, anytime you add an NO2 group to the ring, this is an electron withdrawing group. This would be a classified as a deactivator for the ring, and this would also be a meta director. Right? So anything else that would be coming into the ring after we add this nitro group, it would be meta directed by the nitro group. Okay? So this is the general synthesis that you would need to know. Let's take a detailed look at the mechanism and what actually goes on here. So in order to understand or appreciate the mechanism, you really want to take a look at what happens between the sulfuric acid and the nitric acid. So let's start there. If I've got nitric acid, the general form for nitric acid is going to be the following. You would have this, okay? So that's HNO3, and there is a plus on this nitrogen here. So the sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4, would have this structure. So there's your four O's, your S, and your two H's. So what's going to end up happening is when these two are exposed to one another, the alcohol portion will come over and grab a proton from H2SO4. And so what this is going to produce over to the side here, because we're going to see this come back in in the mechanism in a minute, is HSO4, and that's got a minus charge associated with it. And so what I've done in this step here and I'm not going to draw out all the lone pairs the whole time. But what I've done is I've created H2O. So now this water here, okay, and I've got this group right here. So when I have this, keeping in mind that we now have two things near one another that's plus, that is not a good situation. So this will almost immediately leave and when it leaves the oxygen over here will take a lone pair and replace it to give these electrons over to the nitrogen and so what we end up with and I'll put in parentheses here minus H2O because the H2O left what we end up with is the following substance right so this is NO2, so this will be the nitro group that we are utilizing here. And this is known as the nitronium ion. This is a very good, because of the plus charge, this is a very good electrophile. And if it's a good electrophile, that means the aromatic ring will very readily attack the nitronium ion. So let's go ahead and take a look at that portion next once we've basically created the nitronium ion and we have it set. So when we're doing this aromatic reaction, one of the things you want to keep in mind is that aromatics must always return to aromatic rings at the end of any reaction. Uh, energetically speaking, it is not favorable to end a reaction where you break an aromatic system open and you don't return the what's called the aromaticity to it that's very very damaging in terms of the energetics so what we're looking at here is we're gonna add the nitronium ion to benzene so benzene will send out 
some of these pi electrons to attack. As it does that, keep in mind nitrogen cannot have five bonds, so it has to let go of one of these and return them back over to the oxygen. Uh, it, the nitrogen is found in row two, and row two can only have up to four bonds because we do not have those D shells present to create more than four bonds. So what I end up with is the aromatic intermediate here. Keep in mind this would be resonance stabilized. We've gone through that in the electron withdrawing and the electron donating videos where we saw the different forms of resonance. But I can pick out either structure here, uh, either position is what I should say. Right? And the NO2, there's a minus here again, and there is still a plus on this nitrogen. So overall, the NO2 group, when I see it on the ring, is neutral. Even though it has those charges, the two formal charges will cancel one another out. So the next step, because I cannot leave it like this, okay, there is a plus charge up on the carbon that did not take the electrophile. The next goal is to return the aromaticity. And so I need a base of some sort. And this is where HSO4 will come in. Remember, it had a minus associated with it. One of the oxygens off of the sulfur has a minus charge. This will very readily come in and grab this hydrogen because this ring is looking to go back to its benzene formation. So the electrons associated with this hydrogen bond will be dumped back into the ring in order to return aromaticity. And so what we end up with is we get the aromatic ring back and we have now added a nitro group. Okay, very common reaction along with some of the others that we'll be looking at, halogenation, um, sulfonation is another one that we'll take a look at. And then finally, there is a named one called the fetal crafts reaction. And when you do the fetal crafts reaction, that is one that's going to add carbons. So if you take a look here, okay, just in review one more time, we take benzene. And when we have benzene, we are going to subject the benzene to a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. This combo we just looked at will give us the nitronium ion. It's the nitronium ion that's really going to be attacked by the aromatic ring. And I will have an aromatic ring with a nitro group returned. Okay. One other side reaction that's very important here I want to mention. So you are permitted to do a reduction of your nitro group. And this will actually turn it into a electron donating group. So right now we have an electron withdrawing group, right? You can use, and there's various ways that people do this. The most common is you can use tin chloride uh, and some form of acid. So we'll just put H3O plus over here. And then in the second step, you can use minus OH, some form of minus OH. This overall is going to be a reduction. So we're reducing the nitro group. Well, if you remember when we did uh, alcohols and we talked about reducing, reducing increases the number of hydrogens and removes the number of oxygens. And so this process is a very useful one for creating amines on these rings. So this will NH2. So this right here, this reduction, okay, this process will end up creating the ring with an NH2 on it. Uh, we're not going to talk about the specifics for that mechanism. Um, if it's something that you would like to discuss in more detail, you're welcome to leave comments in the comments section. I can try to uh, address that individually. However, it is important to know that this process, this reduction, uh, is utilized in order to turn nitro groups into amines. And now, because this NH2 has a lone pair right here, this is now an electron donating group and is an activator for the ring. So this, along with being an activator, this would also be an ortho para director when we get the NH2 instead of the NO2. All right, so again, this is nitration of an aromatic ring. 
and we can reduce the nitro group that has been added. We looked at that mechanism into an amine, an NH2 group. Uh, this particular compound right here would be aniline, which is a benzene ring with just an NH2 on it. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys for the next video. So thanks for learning with me.